Don't make the same mistake so many players are making right now. Almost every single person I know gets rid of all of their four star artifacts. Stop that. Stop. Stop it. It looks like the easiest and right thing to do, but there's actually two artifact sets that everyone should try to get to improve their account. What's up everyone, Braxavone here, and today I wanna to talk about two artifact sets that are super underrated and why you should try to get a set of each of them on your account. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to let me know down in the comments below, like the video, and consider subscribing to the channel. It'd be sick if we could hit 150K by the end of the year, so let's see if we can do it. It's pretty well established that at AR45, you start replacing your four star artifacts with five star artifacts. The four star ones have worse stats, so you want to make sure that your builds are getting better by using five star artifacts when you can farm them. Pretty simple concept. Most people will grind up all of their four stars to level up their five stars, but I'm here to tell you today that there's a few of those that you'll want to keep, or at least double check before you feed them. Now those two sets are the instructor set and the exile set. The four star sets have unique four piece effects, but instructor and exile both have effects that can be worth the sacrifice in personal stats, even in high level content. When the character wielding instructors triggers an elemental reaction while on field, your party gains 120 elemental mastery for 8 seconds, which is a pretty solid chunk of elemental mastery. Exile, on the other hand, gives you another party utility, where anytime the wielder uses their elemental burst, your party regenerates 6 energy over 6 seconds. Now this does not affect the wielder, but that doesn't really matter. That is a total of 18 energy across your party over that 6 seconds. Now these 4 piece effects might not look look that good to you at first. It might look something like, oh, that's just a little bit of an elemental mastery buff. Other characters can give my characters elemental mastery buffs. That doesn't matter. 120 elemental mastery is almost an elemental mastery stance. It's about 66% of one. And you're getting it across your whole party, meaning anyone that hasn't snapshotted their elemental mastery stat at some point, and basically anyone doing transformative reactions is getting a ton more damage out of them just because their elemental mastery stat is being raised for that eight seconds. Since Dendro, this set's become even better because so many characters want to be built with some amount of elemental mastery now and if you do play an instructor set in your team you might actually find that your team damage has massively increased now again the downside of this set is that you do have to have that character on field to trigger the effect of the set i mean to be honest if they could be off field it'd be way too broken but with that said you'll still get some pretty solid uptime on it now in the case of exile a lot of people think that it's just too small of an amount of energy to be worth it if you watch my other videos you'll know that I'm a big fan of Favonius weapons because they generate white particles for your team, which helps battery the rest of your teammates. Favonius generates three white particles. White particles are going to give your on-field character two energy and your off-field characters 1.2 energy per particle. Now, these particles do get affected by energy recharge, so if you do have more energy recharge, you're getting more energy than that, but that's just the baseline 100% energy recharge. You're getting two for your on-field character and 1.2 for your off-field characters per particle. If your character had, let's say, 100 energy energy recharge, just the baseline, that would essentially be like giving all of your characters the on-field pickup for Favonius. Now, because Exile is unaffected by energy recharge, it can not be as good as Fav sometimes, and sometimes it'll be better. It just really depends on the team you're running and the energy requirements of the team. But either way, six energy to every character that's not the wielder is a lot of energy at the end of the day, and it can save you a lot of hassle if you're just barely missing energy requirements, or if you're looking to lower your energy recharge stats on some of your characters. Both the instructor set and the exile set have awesome utilities and they are definitely worth having at least one of just in case just as a spare. Now there's a few more reasons I want to talk about for each of these things. I want to talk about why you should keep them, what kind of characters can use them, what stats you want to go for, etc. First, let's talk about why you should stop grinding them up immediately. Obviously, we've already been over that the effect is pretty good, but something that not a lot of people realize is that those sets are actually pretty hard to farm. The Exile and Instructor sets actually can't be farmed in any domains currently outside of boss domains. If you want to get an Exile set, if you want to get an Instructor set, you're basically accumulating accumulating these pieces over time and any attempt that you have to farm them will be much more expensive than just going into a standard domain because unfortunately you don't have that option. On top of that, the pool for four stars is diluted pretty heavily with other sets. For example, the gladiator set can show up a lot when you're killing world bosses, which can take up a four star slot for an artifact. Essentially what I'm saying is that you're not actually getting a lot of these pieces in general, so it can be really good to check the stats of them before you burn them. And if it turns out that they have 
have good main stats or sub stats that you just lock that one individual piece and then move on with your day keep leveling up your five star artifacts knowing that you at least have one good exile or instructor piece saved there are other ways to get them like they can be dropped by elite enemies normal bosses the domain reliquaries which are little boxes of four star artifacts you can get from spiral abyss and chests they can all drop exile and instructor pieces but as far as farming goes they can be a little difficult now at this point we've already talked about their value as individual sets and why they're good we've talked about why it's important to not immediately throw them away and actually check their stats but i haven't told you guys what characters can actually use them and the context in which they're used it's important to know what characters would actually use these sets so you know what stats to go for and while these sets can be used on a case-by-case -case basis whether or not you're just missing pieces from another set or it's that character's actual best in slot it's going to vary based on the characters and account that you're using the benefit of the four star sets is their four piece effects it is not their main stats because their main stats are going to be lower than five star artifacts that's just a given so the time you'd actually want to use these sets is when that character that you're equipped with this set's value is not actually as good as buffing the rest of your team or buffing other characters when a character's personal stats don't really affect their damage that much depending on how much you invest in them or when their support capabilities just aren't based on stats at all you can get insanely good value out of something like instructors or exile so one good example of this is a character like amber in a hu tao team if you use someone like amber and you give her a maxed out damaging kit with like four piece no bless or something you get a little bit of value out of the attack buff on your sync shawl and amber herself can deal pretty okay damage but the thing is if you actually lower her stats with a four star artifact set the damage difference isn't so significant that it's going to outweigh that artifact sets effect if you give amber four piece instructor have her trigger reaction and you also give her something like just elegy to put icing on the cake you're giving your hu tao a ton more elemental mastery and that's going to improve hu tao's damage significantly more than it would buff your overall team damage by giving her a five star set amber's damage contribution in that team is not enough to justify using a five star set over something like instructors and therefore in that hu tao vape team using instructors on amber is the way to go a similar thing can be said for diona in damage showcases you can actually use it on diona in general but since she's mostly played in freeze teams you won't always be using it on her but diona has so many different set options because there's not one set in particular that she benefits from most and her personal stats are okay but her scaling on her shield is really high so even if you build some hp on a four piece artifact set she's still going to have a very strong shield and if you use her to buff your elemental mastery with her c6 and she also had instructors on you could see some pretty high pyro damage if you triggered a melt people will do this a lot for damage showcases because it's just the easy thing to do you can give no blast to someone else like bennett and give diona something like instructors and boom you have an insane amount of elemental mastery to your team now as far as exile goes one example that's very good for exile is using it on goro goro doesn't actually have any parts of his kit except his damage that scale on defense all of his defense buffs are just completely based on the talent level so essentially this means that goro doesn't need to have insanely good stats you can give him something like a four piece set of exile and as long as he has decent energy recharge stats goro's slight damage loss is going to be more beneficial to the rest of your team because of the battery it's going to provide a lot of people opt to use goro with someone like ito and ito actually has pretty high energy requirements so using exile with goro and ito can help you get ito's burst back more consistently while not taking away much from the team exile can also be used on anyone who's not strictly a damage dealer if you're struggling with energy requirements at all and the reason for this is again if a character is not dealing a ton of damage and they don't have buffs that scale off of certain stats it literally just doesn't matter that you're using a four star set Tons of other characters can take advantage of this too. In a vape team, if you're doing double geo, Albedo can use instructors. Because the Deepwood memory set that lowers dendro resistance can be put on basically anyone in a dendro team, your dendro MC could also use instructors very effectively. Even Bennett could use exile or instructors because his attack buff is only based off of his base attack, which is based off of his weapon and his level. Even though these sets seem kind of niche, like they won't be used all the time, the point of having them is that they are four star sets that you're passively gaining as you progress through the game and the characters that are using them don't actually need to have insane stats most of the time so once you get your hands on four pieces of them sometimes even if they're not the right main stats they can still be useful in fact i want to talk about the stats that you want to look for on these if you are going to try to kit out at least one set for your characters 
When it does come to saving the right pieces for instructor and exile pieces, you should be looking at certain main stats that are going to be good for supporting characters and not for damage dealing characters. That's not to say that you'll never find a character that deals damage that wants to be built to deal damage with a four star set. That's not what I mean. But generally speaking, there's going to be some stats you can look for that are going to be more helpful than trying to save up your attack, damage, and crit. What I personally recommend for both instructors and exile is that if you're going to look for pieces, the safest things to get are going to be your flower and feather which should be a given they are the same stats always except for substats and then the third piece that you should be going for is a crit rate circlet for both sets. Now, the reason I'm saying crit rate circlet is actually pretty simple. A lot of the time, you're going to be putting these sets on characters that are supports. And a lot of times, supports can use Favonius weapons. Favonius weapons require critical hits to activate and give you white particles. So having a crit rate circlet can be good for characters like Goro, Diona, Dendro MC, anyone who needs a lot of energy to function in the first place. Ultimately, having a crit rate circlet is just the safe thing to do. You can go for something like healing bonus or attack percent for those that are using healers or even HP percent for some healers or shielders like Diona. But in general, I would say as soon as you see a crit rate piece, save it regardless of the substats. Outside of the circlet, there's not just one piece that's going to work for every other character. So for goblets, honestly, you should just try to grab yourself an attack one and an HP one just to be safe. And then for your sands, it's going to heavily depend on the character again. Now, personally, I actually don't often use use a four star energy recharge piece because it gives you less energy recharge and obviously for characters that are supports that I just want uptime on their burst for where I'll be using instructors in exile. In this instance, I would much rather have a five star energy recharge piece. However, that can just change depending on the character, depending on their energy needs. Either way, your sands is going to be flexible depending on the character. So it's similar to goblets in that you can't necessarily always pre farm one and you might just want to lock a few with different main stats. Honestly, the thing you're going to be looking for most on these sets is energy recharge in the substats. That's going to be the most consistently good way to get value out of these four star sets in their stats is to try to build energy recharge in the subs. So that way you don't have to worry about meeting all of the four star versus five star stat checks. Any instructors or exile pieces with energy recharge in the subs is good. And crit rate also fits into that category again, because you want to be able to use it to proc Favonius. There was a lot of info about stats there, but it basically just boils down to the only one you will consistently find the right main stat for is if you're looking for a crit rate circlet on instructors and exile. But outside of that, you're just looking for things that have the right main stats for the characters you would use them on. And so for Sans, locking one of every main stat can be good. And for Goblet, locking one HP and one attack percent can also be good. Outside of that, just focus on energy recharge and crit rate substats, and you should be good to yeah. Honestly, I cannot stress this enough. These four star sets are so underrated and barely used by anyone that's not heavily involved in the theory crafting community or just doesn't watch my build guides for characters that can use those sets. So I highly recommend at least trying to save yourself some good pieces that you find from those sets. So that way you don't have to go and look for them, especially as we see more characters release that are less stat reliant because those less stat reliant support characters or just less stat reliant characters in general, all can take more advantage of four stars sets than other characters. Before you throw away four star artifacts, just double check to make sure that they're not a piece that you could use in the future because they're incredibly hard to farm and get the right stats for anyways. So if you do stumble onto one, you want to make sure you hold on to it. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video down below. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this and consider checking out the Twitch. I'm live there a few days a week playing Genshin Impact and other fun games. And when the new Pokemon game comes out, I'll be playing that too. Let me know if you guys actually use Instructor or Exile in the comments down below. I'm actually curious. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.